rules. I guess my first introduction is going to be, just so everyone knows, the pun. I don't want to let that go unnoticed. So I'm from Halifax personally, over on the East Coast, but we're an RBC-sponsored team by Jules Andrew. So we're real proud of that one. Um, I'm Andrea Cavanaugh, but my other team members are Sam, another Sam, uh, Shirley Ann McKenzie, who goes by Sam, and <laughs> <laughs> so we were this close to calling this team Sam as well. So I'm here to talk to you today about our idea, which is block party. So what is block, block party? I was quick to say a party planner in your pocket. Um, that's the quickest way I can summarize it. Although this didn't test well in my market study, my market study being my teammates. The feedback being their eye rolls. However, in our short three days of being here, most of us not knowing much about uh, blockchain or cryptocurrencies or anything, and spending a good four hours debating amongst ourselves what we can and can't do and having wonderful support, this idea evolved into something much more sophisticated and valuable than the catchphrase would imply. The five of us coming from a bank background understood the need of streamlining and simplifying while not sacrificing efficiency and user friendliness. Add a dash of fun and something everyone looks forward to in their lives and we landed on Block Party. Block Party is a peer-to-peer -peer community that connects our users, everyday event planners, with our vendors directly. If you have a party, an anniversary, a charity event, you can set up an event ID, outline a budget, and add smart contracts to define the requirements for hire. 13 dozen roses, musicians who play soft jazz, a clown maybe? <laughs> Vendors have immediate access to bed bid for this business. Once a vendor is selected, mutual assurances of fulfillment is established through stakes and deposits. Block Party is free to join, and the funding for Block Party is applied only on successful bids to vendors. What we want to keep in mind is user friendliness. We have a front-end app with a dashboard for both users and vendors to make the experience intuitive, and we utilize WISE to help translate fiat currency. We also snuck in ENS domains to help with donations towards events, say, a what? The nature of both the app front end and the blockchain back end gives us immediate, immutable data on the success of these contract fulfillments, market trends, and mutual rating systems. So our pros and cons, I'm not going to go into each of these because there's quite a few. Just looking at some of the cons of the current system now of setting up and planning an event. There's a lot of time involved. You're looking to find vendors, you're trying to find local events. There's experience. If I'm here visiting Toronto from Halifax, and I'm looking to get roses, I don't know the market price point. It can be expensive in that regard. There's an uncertainty of fulfillment if someone's going to cancel on me last minute. Or if I'm going over budget too. Block Party addresses all of these. So how does it work? We're setting it up into two different types of people who join. So you have the users. They're the ones that input an event. Um, DIAs are accepted by the don any donations and we put in our own as a part of the budget. Um, the dashboard is created based on these data. We can break out our budget for specific things, so I need flowers, a musician, a, a venue. The smart, con the smart contract details are entered, and you set monetary donation and get an allocation to each one. And then the auction ones. We have two different types of vendors. So we have a registered vendor, which is an established business, something with credentials, something with licenses, something that you could go to the Better Business Bureau and, and immediately get ratings. But we didn't want to close this off to mom and pop groups, you know, Anne, who is amazing at cooking cakes, but she isn't an official chef. But we wanted to protect people too, depending on what their criteria were. So we'll have registered vendors that have a profile that's verified. The profile will be indicated as verified, and then their availability will be created on their dashboard to help them track, so they're not overbooking themselves either. The vendor will then search for events in the database and start bidding. The non-registered vendors, similar but more simplified, they create a profile and they have their ability to dashboard as well, and they also bid. From that point on, once the, the auction is created, vendors bid, it ends. Someone is selected. Once it is selected, the event itself eventually occurs. At this time, and this is where we're talking about um, reassurance that will actually happen. So one of the things that we talked about when we put into place is both the deposits, so a lot of vendors expect a down deposit to ensure that they're going to keep their business, but we also want to put in stakes, meaning that that vendor last minute can't cancel or not, so we have a wedding tomorrow, but the photographer decides they're not going to show up. We also get compensated for that. The budget in the will be updated on the dashboard. We'll be able to track specifically what we're spending in what areas. 
the vendor is paid upon receipt of service, and then we release the vendor's stake amount because it was only to ensure they don't cancel on us. And then the remaining balance is either transferred out or we can move it to maybe a next event. The vendor user profile, we're also going to request that you give feedback and ratings. This can be done in two ways. We're hoping to break into analytics specific to the blockchain that you cannot argue. You either did fulfill the contract, you didn't. This happened, that didn't. We'll be able to pull that and you'll be able to see quickly when you go to pick a vendor or you go to pick an individual, now that vendor tends to cancel. We'll also ask for normal feedback systems for our interface. So five stars, two stars, one star. And that's it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Good questions.